Satan feels so threatened by your freedom, by your voice, your existence, and by your God. He really does. And in the spiritual field of life, we know that there's a war going on. It's interesting that the devil would touch certain people to allow criminals into our country and then uh, agitate another nation outside of the country. So you have to understand what is really going on. What is really going on? And I want to say to everybody that you need to continue every chance that you get, say a prayer. Because you are the children of God and Satan knows that you are just so close to being free from a whole lot of things. He also knows that the system that has been put in place, it's, it's a wrap on that. And so what he does is he uses whoever he can use to make sure that we stay oppressed, broke, and just hurt, just hurt, like physically in every way, whether it's through pharmaceuticals, whether it's through disease, whether it's through crimes. Because one thing is for sure, the devil is showing you his hand. See, it used to be that the enemy would move subtly, but he understands that now you know and you're on to his tactics. So now he's showing you who he's been using all along to create confusion, racial tension, heartache, pain, disease, and wars and rumors of wars. And if you literally just sat down and pay attention to who is constantly involved in conflict, you will see exactly his hand. I tell people all the time that this is so spiritual and it is all about you. It's all about you being 100% in alignment with God and the fact that you can no longer be brainwashed, manipulated, or controlled. See, only a coward would try to use force to hurt innocent people to send a message to everyone else. Only a coward would not trust the whole hand of God and the way that God has orchestrated the whole world and the earth and everything within it. Only a coward would think that freedom would put them at risk. Freedom will birth more love in our environment, more peace in our env environment, and more abundance for everybody. Because I truly, sincerely do believe that it was not the intention of God when he created the heavens and earth and us for us to be broke, sick, and in danger. That was never the goal of God. That's the goal of man, for you to be broke, sick, and in danger, for you to constantly be in fear. Because where the spirit of fear is, God ain't there, because God doesn't give us the spirit of fear. And that's why it's important to unplug from the foolishness and plug into God, tap into his spirit and what 
God represents at this time. Because when we allow more space in our experience for God to work, he will do it. When we call on the name of God, call on the name of Yeshua, when we call on the name of of angels that are here to assist us, they will work for us. They will work for us. And I think it is a crying shame that this nation is involved in triggering World War III. I think it's sick, it's disgusting, it's sad, and it's not fair, once again, to innocent people like us it's not fair to us what's going on period but we understand because we read the scriptures that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but principalities but i want y'all to think about something tonight and then once you think about this give it to god and thank him for how good he is anyway but i want you to just sit back tonight drink your cup of tea or just don't drink nothing just be quiet and I want you to sit still and I want you to look at your timeline from when you were born up into this present moment. And I want you to really see who the criminals are, who keeps war going, who does dreadful things to people, who wants to hurt humans instead of protect humans and see humans reach their full potential who uses blackmail and occult practices to control people and ruin their lives. Who is it that the enemy constantly uses all the time to keep hell circulating on the in earth, on earth? Who is it? What group is that? Who is that? Who is that? It's not me, and I know it's not you, because why would anybody allow a bunch of illegal immigrants in this country that are criminals that have set up all type of criminal activity who would do that unless it was the plan of the enemy to not only have us where we're in a war on the outside the in a foreign land that involves many nations but also for there to be an attack on American people of all nationalities, races, and background. You have to sit down and you have to wonder who in the world keeps this going? What group keeps it going? Who is it? I'm going to tell you something that you can tell a lot about who a person's father is or what spirit that person is connected to based on the decisions, the mindset, the agenda, and the manifestations that that person creates. You can tell a person that's connected to God and you can tell what group is connected to Satan and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to be able to put two and two together to see who the devil constantly uses and it is time as God's children for us to not only rise up as a nation but it's time for us to rise up in prayer and in our spiritual practices it's time for us to continue to call on God so that he will fight on our behalf and because it's just really something and I was just thinking about that tonight you know I was just thinking about it it's so much going on good things that are going on but we have to understand that there's still a spiritual battle going on because when the devil's losing he gets more aggressive when the devil when the devil loses he shows his hand. When the devil loses, he's no longer trying to hide anything. He's just out with it, just banging it, just in your face. When the kingdom of hell is falling, then people do anything to inflict pain on believers that worship God and not, this, not the devil, not Satan, not his children, not anything that they're into. And I want y'all to know this, and I'm going to get on the path of here. 
people have always wanted to get in between our relationship with God. Always. They never wanted us to have like freedom in our experience with God. Never really have a baseline of security in who we are in our Father. Never wanted us to really be able to be okay with being a human and understanding that we're having a human experience. And sometimes we get it right and sometimes we don't get it right, but we have grace to cover us to get up and continue to press anyway. And it's something about the fact that we're really connected and we love the Lord the way that we do. People could be loving anything, but a whole lot of folks are coming to God. Satan don't like that. He don't like that. He, it's been people put in places, religious places, to keep the children of God sleep. And I want the devil to understand this. What is going on has been prophesied throughout the word of God. The awakening that is occurring has nothing to do with people being out of control. It has everything to do with God being in control. This spiritual awakening is not something that just happened in an isolated area. This spiritual awakening is something that is happening worldwide throughout this whole globe. And it is a bigger force. It is my God that is in control of everything that happens. And one thing I understand about him, if you read about him throughout any scripture, when it comes to the children of Israel and everything that that group went through, whenever they called on him, he showed up, he appointed somebody to use to get breakthroughs for his children. And he ain't going to stop until his children are restored and everything that has been taken away, that has been stolen, every bit of it, we getting it back. The word says that. It's nothing that anyone can do in a physical frame that can stop a mighty God for, from restoring his children back to wholeness, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. So rest assured that it may look like that we're losing, but I can tell you right quick, in the spiritual realm, and they will show up physically, we are winning. Think about that, guys. Think about who is it that constantly keeps a bunch of old mess going? Who is it that constantly goes against the word of God and its spiritual practices in the Bible? Who is it that gaslights folks, brainwashes people, and who is the most narcissistic group of people known to man? Who is it that doesn't care about Americans, but cares about everything on the outside of this country? Who is it that will open up borders to let criminals in here to do harm on the inside while other things are going on on the outside? Who is it that the devil is constantly using to work for him, to advocate for him, and to create a bunch of wars, hell, and chaos? It don't take much thought. It's easy to know exactly who he's using. I love you guys. And until the next video, peace. Bye now.